You got me in stitches. I'm Anna. I hope everybody has had a good week so far. Yeah, and here we are again, another Sunday, and another look through part three of my pattern collection. So I hope you've been enjoying it so far, and perhaps looking through your stash to see if you have got some of the patterns, or if you have already made up the garments in them. Yeah, it's always fun to know what you guys have sewn, if we've got kind of similar or the same patterns. So today I'm going to show you kind of miscellaneous patterns. Primarily most of them have come from sewing magazines, got a couple of indie patterns, but yeah, it's kind of a bit of a mishmash of all sorts of patterns kind of in my box. Also, I've just put a little segment at the end separate because the patterns I've already shown you, like the New Look, Simplicity, Butterick and so on, some of the patterns I had stored away separately in boxes with fabrics, things that I was going to make, and so therefore when I was kind of getting everything ready, I kind of didn't include those. So I'll do a little separate thing at the end, and also, which I've been gifted, sometimes I like to keep them in the envelopes, although they're all in order and everything like that, they were not in the actual, you know, Butterick patterns to Butterick, you know, new look to new new look box. So gifted patterns and things like that I tend to keep separately. So yeah. So anyway, enjoy and let's go. Righto, here we go. So first up, the Audemars pencil skirt from Sew Over It and I kept the original box and I've put like little bits and pieces in and I've kept the pattern, I've not yet made it. And I didn't like the fabric because it was bright pink, so that will go perhaps to a fa fabric swap table maybe one day. Then we have Butterick B6168. I think a couple of ladies in the sewing community has made this pattern, and I think there's a couple little sort of sizing issues with it, but yeah, so not yet made it, but kind of cute there. Next up, both these patterns are from a company called Thread Count. I really like the scallop detail with this. Sorry about the sunspots, guys. It is oh, actually burning hot today. And the view there, you could do a longer sleeve. And also the little cute Peter Pan collar going on there. The other one, a couple of basics for the closet. So both round neckline T, one's a little higher and one's a little lower. I like the lower view there. We have quick sew K3979 and K4215. I like the pants in this one and on this view here I would make kind of the top so imagine that not being a dress and imagine that being a top I think that's kind of cute I like the neckline there I also like the sleeve detailing going on there thread count pattern here I think it's 1613 again really pretty dress nice neck line across over there and they've used kind of a set in fabric which is really lovely if you want to wear it out somewhere glamorous. On the threaders here, I can't see that there is a pattern number. I like the style there, kind of a little bit of a vintage thing going on. And also it does have a tie belt. 
couple of thread count patterns here. So this is 1501 and the other is 1610. And again, cute little neckline on the sparty dress there. And I like the V on that view there. So Karen and Chark and 03 and the other pattern is 01. I like the overalls there. Not too sure if I would have it so they're folded up. But again, a nice relaxed feel. And on the dress, I like this view here. And I also think the midriff there, I like the detailing on that. So the Cynthia Rowley is 2281 and the Craft, Craft Network Sewing Pattern which is the Riley dress. So on the Cynthia I like the detailing there. I think that's kind of cute. With the little sleeves going on. Not entirely sure if I would make it full length. And on the Craft Network one I like the square neckline on that one. Next up, another craft network sewing pattern. I really like the overalls, but I like the view of the top on both of these, but I would make the wide leg pants. I would never do the scrunched ankle look there on view B. That's just kind of not my style. But I do like that and I like both those views there. The simple sew pattern which is the palazzo trousers they call them. And as you guys know who follow me I've made a few of those recently. And again relatively quick pattern to make up. And once you get your head around a little area going on in there. Yeah really good pattern to make and wow. This made me laugh, sorry, these patterns came from a sewing magazine and quite a few months separate, but look, they're identical. And it's the Kalawa block tunic. Identical patterns, just, yeah, different, well, different colours on the uh, front there. I guess that's actually colour as in colourful. I don't use the U, so I guess it's colour, Kalawa. Anyway, yeah, I just thought it was fun. Two identical patterns going on there. But they're both kind of cute as well. So you can make the dress or the tops. Two more simple sew patterns. The English tea dress and the Miranda t-shirt. So again, relatively basic collections there. I like the v-neck on the dress and I also like the v-neck on the tee there. So it's always great just to have a couple of basic staples in the closet. Next up, the grace dress and skirts and the anka, is it anka, an, anaka, 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 yeah, I think that's right, tunic. And again, little V going on there in the dress. And I probably would, if I was going to make that, with the little cap sleeves. I'm not too sure about the Annika, Annika dress. I like the detailing and the pockets. It just kind of reminds me a little bit of perhaps the lovely ladies that do cleaning. I don't know. So, but again, super cute dress and not sure if I would make that, but I've kept it in my padding collection anyway. So the Simple Sew 014 here, again, on a few of my earlier vlogging videos I've made this outfit but I wanted to just make the top and absolute disaster it just did not hang right and yeah it I haven't gone back to it I'd like to but I think with the issues that I had and the way it turned out afterwards not exactly a happy pattern so I didn't really enjoy it on the other simple sew, 018, I like the cute little top there with the Peter Pan collar. Again, another basic staple to have in the closet. 
two more simple, so 004 and 013. Again, I like the gentle neckline there in the front, and also it, it dips down a little bit further in the back. It has darts there, front and back, and it also has a little split going on there. On the 013, again, a couple of little darts, and that shaping there, if I just bring it a little bit closer for you, I think that's that's quite a little good detail going on there. So I have the Amelia tea dress. I've not made that as yet. And again, I'd like to. So I got a few little fabrics in the fabric collection that would work really well. And also it works, as you can see there, with the spots on the fabric. And yes, the light spots. Sorry about that, guys. The Simple Sai 019 and the Colottes, which I've made a couple of times, one in a lilac -y purple and a very warm sunshine yellow. Yeah, really comfortable. Wasn't entirely sure about the pleating. I thought it would kind of emphasize, you know, quite a bit of bulk going on in the front, but no, the way they hang, it actually works really well. And again, great fun make. And you could also do ankle length. So we have the Shannon Collection pants. Now, I have made these twice a while ago. They never made the vlog because there was fitting issues and sizing issues with the padding and everything. And I, yeah, it just came out really, really small. So I'm not sure what was going on there. The Sophia top and skirt there. Again, a lovely pattern, and I don't know, it looks like it ever so slightly dips in the back there, but on the picture there, it looks like it's level, so not too sure. But again, I think the skirt is kind of cute. Okay, so next up, we have the daisy dress and the Thames in top. So I've made a couple of the daisy dresses, really like that style. And I like the little neck detailing going on there. And the Thames in top, I've yet to make. But again, I like that gentle V. And you've also got the option to add a couple of little ties, which I would omit. We have the Silk Kemi by Sir Ivory, which I've made about five of, I think now. And the Freya dress. And I have made one of those. And yeah, both worked out really well. We have the Bitsy Tote and the Cowham Skirt. Not entirely sure why I put the tote in my collection because I can make bags with my eyes closed. But it's there anyway. And the Cowham Skirt I have not made yet. But again, it has a little detailing down the front there so I give that a go we have the no is that Sadie or Sade I thought Sadie was I anyway and the Granville skirt and again I like this because of the detailing the there and the sleeve and if you remember guys that I made a mustard top that I kind of self drafted from a ready to wear this is kind of quite cropped. I'm not sure if I would have it that cropped. And it has a little elastic channel going on there. The skirt again. I'm not sure if... Yeah, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap, guys. And yeah. To the knee. Wrap. And yeah, another basic staple to go in the closet. We have the drape top. And the Libby dress. Again, another basic. I'm not entirely sure if I would make the sleeveless, I don't know what you call them, strap, strapless, sleeve, oh, straps, that's it, straps, no sleeves, sleeveless, but straps. I don't think I'd make them that wide. And on the Libby dress, again, little Peter Pan collar going on there, super cute. Next up, the Lilo dress. Now, isn't that fabric absolutely gorgeous? I love a leaf in kind of jungly print 
fabric even if it had a little couple of periods that would make it awesome yeah and floor length and I would make it with that straight line across there and then we have the is it Ace Aisling dress now you look at the top of that dress that's not too dissimilar to the top that I just showed you a few patterns back so but again another cute top that's still a cute dress and yeah you're gonna make it in a white white cardon we have pattern house which is the Harley tunic dress and that's designed by Anika from May to Sew. I've made a couple of these. I omitted the pockets but I kept the seam line across where there is you would have a seam where the pockets would go so instead of making that in one length of fabric I still kept the line. And then we have the staple vest another cute little versatile top that kind of would go with anything either dressed up or dressed down okay so i got a few little indie patterns in my collection this i the pussy bow blows by sew over it i swapped with a friend who i took to last year's satisfaction i think it was the sewing fun day or summer spectacular yeah so anyway the other one, the Casey pattern by Experimental Space. Oh, I just love the pattern design that Andrea does. It's just absolutely beautiful. Not yet made that. Next up, the Bure shirt by Deer and I. And Selkie patterns, which is the London top and skirt. I picked both these patterns up from the fold line when they had their style at the knitting and stitching show. Again, neither of these patterns have been made. On the beret shirt, I would do the sleeveless version. And on the London blouse, I love that keyhole design there. And again, that would work great with the skirt. Next up, we have... The Toaster Sweater by So Hill 7, which was kindly gifted to me by Megan, and in return I sent a thank you gift back of some fabric, I believe a pattern, and a candy. Then we have the Lander Pants by True Bias, and again I've made both these patterns, and the Landers were in my KB pattern swap which was gifted to me by Karma and you guys would have seen that video and then I sent Karma out her gift box we have the Margot jumpsuit by So La Di Da I've made a couple of these now really love that pattern and if I could get hold of fabric with the little sailing boats on that would be really awesome because I think that works really well with that and my Tilly and the Buttons Cleo which I've also made and again relatively simple make pretty versatile in the sense of whatever lengths you choose to make so yeah both fun patterns there I was gifted PDF patterns and my lovely KB pattern swap buddy this year. Again, you've recently seen this video, so I won't talk too much about it. And the square neckline top by Friday Pattern Company. And the Athena Cacao sewing patterns, which is the Abby jumpsuit. So, still yet to make them, but definitely higher up on my list than some of the other patterns that I've now kind of head in the top list but now a little bit further down we have the kitty dress by So Over It and the Dahlia summer dress and skirt by Glasshouse Patterns and some of you guys are familiar 
Tanya and I think she's actually changed her vlogging channel now to Glasshouse Patterns and it used to be Don't Dream It, Sew It so when I've referenced Don't Dream It, Sew It recently I think it's actually now starting to come up as Glasshouse Patterns anyway, nevertheless, beautiful patterns and yeah, I still haven't stuck them together as you can see guys so you just know I'm not a PDF girl so I will get there, I will do I've got to because the patterns are just awesome and I want to sew them Okay, so I'm moving on to the birdie patterns. 6433 and 7381. Showed you guys these patterns recently and really love that jumpsuit there. And I like the contrast belt and neckline. Then shorts pattern there, so that's for my teenage athlete. And going to make them up in a denim fabric and perhaps some heavier weight cardan. Next up is 6573 and K6910. Really love these pins here. Gives it an article vibe going on there. And this one I think came in a sewing magazine because I would not have actually purchased that one. I like view A and it's got a little bit of a ruching going on there and birdie 7232 so this is one of the first birdie patterns I purchased quite a few years ago now and for the simple reason at the time I liked that back detail there so Never made it, just been set in the collection, ready to go. Okay, so Vogue patterns V9280 and V9075 and originally I thought that this was a coat and apparently I think it's a dress. The Vogue here Again, this has been going around the sewing community a little bit. Again, I've not made either pattern. Again, they're really nice patterns. And at some point, I will make them up. V2903. And V9259. Again, beautiful dress that came in the sewing magazine called The Dressmaker. And this one, I believe that came in a sewing magazine. I like the crossing around the neck and over detail and I'd make this view here. Okay, V1043 and V2934. Haven't made either of these two patterns. Again, I think they speak for themselves. Beautiful, elegant dress there. And a lovely little jacket on that one. So, this one is the last of the Vogue pattern. V8766, which is an options, and this was gifted along with some other patterns from the lovely Debbie from Saturday Sewing. And get to make this one. I like both B and F views there. Okay, so I'm going to jump around a little bit on pittings so it's going to be this is the miscellaneous of the ones that I hadn't added into you know macaws for macaws, butterick, butterick and so on so there's going to be macaws and buttericks and new looks kind of all in this section so anyway this is the macaws M7353 and M7952 again these two pittings were kindly gifted to me from Debbie from Saturday Sewing. 
and I adore this pattern absolutely love it and yet to make it up and yeah and also I kind of chose this one but Debbie put this one in as a gift as well and yeah really really super cute I kind of like the keel neckline going on there and also like the simple top there M7120 and this was another pattern that was in the same gift from Debbie and yeah kind of like that nice relaxed feel to that one so I have very easy Vogue here I think it's 7619 and a Cynthia Rowley Simplicity which is I think that's D0551 so neither of these pins I have sewn yet and again these two were also gifted by Debbie so here we have V7364 7202 and B6333 and again this was in the same little parcel that Debbie had gifted me I really love those pants there and also on the middle pattern I like view A and I think I would go for view C there with the shorter sleeves but I would never button anything up right you know up close to the neck like that new look 6246 in simplicity k1913 now these two were gifted as a pattern and a couple of little bits thrown in kind of goodie bag and actually it was these two patterns that Gemma from a girl so geeky had included in my little gift bag. I know I said previously that she had put the padded in on the previous vlog but it's not. It was actually these two patterns and I got it around the wrong way. It's actually this one. So yeah, kind of like the little pants going on there. Not too sure about the ankle detailing there but again really quick make comfy pants just the way around the house and on the dress I like the view here. We have my cars M7129 Simplicity K8734 and New Look K6438. You have seen the skirt pattern before because that is my make nine. I've cut it out ready but it's still on my to hurry up and sew pile. And these two, the Simplicity and New Look, have literally recently been included in a subscription sewing magazine so I thought I would add this in as well because obviously it's part of my collection. We have Butterick B6378 and Butterick B6450 and these were in my KB Pigeon Swap by the lovely Mona from So Against the Grey. I'm trying to hold hide these sunspots guys I'm so sorry about that again lovely patterns not as yet sewn them up and finally again from Mona Butterick B6523 and these beautiful handmade buttons that she had gifted as well in the KB pattern swap okay guys so they are my patterns there will be one more Pinion collection which will be part four and that will be all my vintage patterns so I'm really excited for those because I really really adore vintage patterns and for various reasons so okay guys forgive me I'm really cranky now this is taking forever today to film I feel like a cook chook seriously it is so hot everything's going wrong everything's malfunctioning so I'm really cranky right now and I've had enough and as you guys know I don't do heat so it's taken me absolutely forever to film this but anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed it let me know if you have any of those patterns if you sign anything up and you know how 
the makes have come out and everything and also what are you doing I mean are you doing any sewing are you enjoying any nice sunshine are you on vacation so let me know in the comments also warm welcome to my new subscribers and I also want to thank the wonderful Carla from Stay Stitching who mentioned me on her channel so watch your video earlier and I know I thanked you in the comments but it's always grateful so and that top that you had made from the pattern that I gifted you look absolutely fantastic so yeah okay I, I I'm done guys seriously I've had enough of noise I've had enough of the heat I've had enough of talking I just I want to do my best and chill so okay have a wonderful week I will see you guys on Wednesday with the final in the vintage pattern collection thank you so much for watching take care guys